What up boys and welcome back to yet another video. So in today's video we're going to talk about something that I've mentioned two times before but there's like nobody doing it. It's me and a couple of other people making all the gold and this is really really insane. So basically when the patch came out uh, 1005 Blizzard re-added the upgradable items for wad transmog or wad crafted items in general meaning that you can make it uh, like a different um both stats and look on the old wad crafted items and this is making so much gold. So pretty much all you have to do in order to make these First, you gotta go and you gotta craft the Secret of Draenor Tailor Ring or Secret of Draenor uh, Blacksmithing, Leatherworking, and so on. Because this is gonna be a currency that you can go to, um, like, to Storm Shield and you can purchase these upgradable items. Like, for instance, this one, Pattern, the uh, Remarkable Hexweave Essence. And what this one does is, as you can see in the tooltip, provides the following property. Alters the appearance of armor crafted from Draenor tailoring to something truly remarkable. And then you also have the blue one, which uh, alters the appearance again to something more impressive. That means that you can um, craft one of these bad boys to remarkable hex with essence. And once you have crafted that one, you just go down to one of the crafted uh, wad items and you can add the hex weave essence. Now, I'm going to show you guys the difference on these. So, when I pop the, uh, the auction house open and I look at one of these remarkable items, because I crafted the epic version of them, uh, be very aware when you're posting these. Because if I search up the shoulders, you can see that the shoulders are up for 9.8k gold. But this is just the basic crafted one. These aren't upgraded to anything impressive or in my case remarkable. So if we look at these they're going to be like this red with some green flames and if I look at the remarkable ones they're going to be different. They have a different look a different item ID. The collectors they need to collect all of this and it's the same for everything like you can search up um, this head right here as well. Well, now I'll just search up of the quick blade. But if I search up the uh, the head, you guys can see they start at 2.5k gold. That's for the basic version. And then, as you can go down here, these bad boys right here are the different stages that you can upgrade them for. That's why they go from like 2.5 and down to like 40, 60,000 gold. Uh, but you got to be careful because if you just go in the auction house, even with TSM and you just scan it, it, it doesn't have any intelligent way of um, like telling the difference between the remarkable, the different stages of the hex weave gear. So you gotta, at least not that I'm aware of, I'm just manually posting all of these items. But this is not the only way that you guys can make gold with this. It actually has big effects on the water market in general. So when you're crafting these items, every single item, and a lot of people think that it is time gated because... When you go to your garrison, you can only do daily cooldown crafts on Secret of Draenor Tailoring. And you can only do, uh, well, you can do a daily craft to get the material needed as well. There's like a BOP material that you need to craft these for all professions. So for tailoring, you need the Hex Weave Cloth, which is BOP. Now you can do a daily craft to craft a bunch of these. Or you can use like the tailoring building in your garrison to get Hex Weave Cloth in order to craft it. However... Kind of similar to uh, other expansions like Panda, you can scale it up and craft it as much as you want to, but it requires spirit, primal spirit in order to do so. So I can craft as many times as I want to in a day with the uh, the primal weaving and same thing for leatherworking and blacksmithing and so on, but it requires primal spirit. But primal spirit can also be bought on the auction house even though they're BOP because you can just use your garrison trader in order to get it. So if you guys take a look at this, this is uh, like Primal Spirit on Wowhead. You can see that there is a tab called Sold Buy. And the Sold Buy tab right here, uh, as you guys can see, you can buy Primal Spirit for like the WAD ore and also war like a WAD uh, letter, but also herbs. And it's really cheap because most herbs right now and ore are like a gold each and you need five ore letter or herb 
in order to get one primal spirit. That's like one gold, right? For one primal spirit. That's going to be definitely worth doing. I've been buying tens of thousands of ore and also uh, herbs to trade it in your garrison. But it's it's not that simple though, because in order to use the herb trader or the ore trader, you need to go to your garrison and at like your main garrison building, just at the entrance, this NPC, the first NPC that you'll see, it changes every single day. And sometimes it's Harrison Jones, sometimes it's going to be a letter trader, sometimes it's going to be a herb trader, uh, or a trader, or something else. The good news is, though, you can ask your friends or your guilds, um, like guildies, if they can go to your garrison and see if they have the herb and the ore trader. Or you can use the community, such as the Discord. Uh, and if someone has that, you can visit their garrison and still be able to use the herb trader. Uh, with that being said, though, the prices on the herbs are going up and the ore. So it could be a very good investment to purchase these. Same thing with the materials needed to craft like the, the special essences and so on. Like Felblight right here used to sell for like four or five gold each. Right now, they're up at 111 gold each because everyone is crafting these transmogs and they are selling really damn well. Uh, I've sold a bunch of them. And it's the same thing for um, for Savage Blood, right? Like Savage Blood, still not that expensive, but it... It was going for, uh, well, it's still at like roughly 25 gold each on EU. Keep in mind, all these prices are EU. But I think this one is also definitely going to keep on going up in price because it is needed to craft the essences. Uh, all of these uh, flowers and the leather, like pretty much every single material that has to do with wad crafting is probably going to go up in value. So uh, right now, it's not at the point where it's worth farming it just yet. But you never know what's going to happen. It's like the 1007 materials that's also needed for crafts in the next patch. Like some of those are actually at the point where it's worth farming for them. Where in the past they were pretty worthless. So if anything was unclear, just ask the questions down below in the comment section. And a big thank you to every single one of you guys that have signed up to the VIP Discord. I know a lot of people on my VIP Discord are doing these crafts because that's this is like the kind of stuff that we discuss on the VIP Discord. You also get access to all of my videos before anyone else and a bunch of helpful spreadsheets and um, basic tips in order to make gold. So you can find that link down below together with my book, The Zero to 10 Million Gold Guide. So if you haven't grabbed that yet, make sure to do so. And don't forget to use the discount code, the Dragonfly, because it will give you the book for 50% off. And just know that when you get the book, you will receive a lifetime of updates for free. So whenever there's a new patch or even a new expansion done to the game, I will update the book and send that version directly to your email automatically for free. But that's pretty much it. So guys, thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all back in at the next video. But until then, bye bye.